Hello everyone again. This is Mr. Nasser. Welcome to the channel. And today we will have a new lesson. Um, last lesson we talked about uh, eating out. When you go to a restaurant, how you, uh, you understand the menu, the prices, how you ask about price, how you talk uh, with the waiter. And in this lesson today, we'll talk about breakfast. What do, you, uh, what do people usually eat in their breakfast in different countries? Okay, so let's go to the lesson. Okay, guys, so here a new lesson. It's uh, breakfast time. We will study vocabulary, food and drink, countable and uncountable nouns, skills, listening, uh, a conversation. Okay, so at the beginning, in exercise number one, here we have some new words, food and drink. So as we usually do, you read all of these words, you understand the word, okay, you put tick. Ah, I understand. Okay, if you don't understand, you don't remember, okay, you put X. Okay, guys, so now you can stop the video uh, for like one or two minutes, read them. After that, we will go and check them together, okay? <coughs> So now <clears throat> we'll go to page 136, okay, 4.6, let's go. Ah, here we have this exercise. So we will match, <clears throat> we will match these words to the pictures here. Okay, for example, <coughs> sorry, number one, biscuits. Where is biscuits here? Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a uh, J. Okay, so again, guys, stop the video and match two, three minutes, then come and check with me. Okay, guys. <clears throat> So now let's check the answers. <coughs> Click. Yeah. <coughs> Here is the answers. Okay. I know some photos or some pictures here are not clear. Okay. Uh, that's why I have some other uh photos for food and drink who will watch it okay <coughs> okay guys so hmm. so here what do we have these are biscuits in america they say cookies but in british accent they say biscuits okay here we have milk, very good, and apples, rice, yogurt, uh, sugar, toast, bread, <coughs> fish, eggs, <coughs> coffee, uh, sausages, soup, cheese, bananas, orange juice, I love it, croissant, tea, uh, jam, uh, meat, yeah, fruit, tomato, olives, cereal, like cornflakes and uh, these things. <coughs> okay, guys, so here's cereal. Again, olives, tomato, 
fruit, meat, jam, tea, croissant, orange juice, bananas, cheese, soup, sausages, coffee, eggs, fish, bread, toast, sugar, yogurt, rice, <coughs> apples, milk, biscuits. <coughs> okay, guys. Now, we'll go and talk about pronunciation. Mm, pronunciation. <clears throat> okay guys so here be careful please with the pronunciation of biscuits why because here we have um, the u just a minute here yeah biscuits <clears throat> biscuits u is silent we don't say you. Biscuits? No. Look here. Biscuits. Biscuits. Milk. Milk. When you say it, guys, <clears throat> in Arabic language, we say milk. L, L. No, in English, we say milk. Milk. L, L. Okay, heavy L, L, milk, milk, an apple, an apple, <coughs> rice, rice, yo, gut, yo, gut. Here, you are is e, you are e, g, g, get, yo, gut, yogurt. But if you say yogurt, it's okay, no problem. <clears throat> sugar. Sugar. S, we say sh. No grammar here. Sh. Sugar. Toast. Toast. Bread. Bread. Fish. Fish. Eggs. Eggs. Coffee, coffee, sausages, sausages. I know this is a difficult word. Okay, so what we will do here, mm, it's just a minute, <clears throat> so write it. Mm. Okay, so here <clears throat> we have this word sausage. Let's make it even bigger. Everyone can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so mm -hmm. sage. So sage. So sage. Two syllables. <clears throat> so so sage. So sage. Sage. Here we have D, you say, <clears throat> when you say it, the same we have D here. We don't have, of course, D when we write, but when you pronounce, you say, so, sed, 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 okay? Very important, so, sed, so, sed. Then we have the S, so, sedges, plural, so, sedges, so, sedges. Sausages, so sa jizz, so sa jizz, so sa jizz, sausages, sausages, sausages. Okay, guys, sausages <clears throat> in this way. <clears throat> now, soup, soup. 
soup, cheese, cheese, a banana, a banana, orange juice, orange juice. But here we have to uh, J. We use just one. Oran, oran, oran juice, oran juice, oran juice, oran juice, oran juice, oran juice. We don't say oran juice to J. No, oran juice. It's like just one together. <clears throat> and here, qua. Quaso, quaso, uh, spelling and pronunciation is not the same at all. So you need to practice a lot for this word, <clears throat> and it's not very important word. Uh, for me, I will not waste my time like practicing this word. It's not important. And here, but we say qua, qua. Quaso, quaso, quaso. It's the same. Some people say croissant, and quaso. This is a French word. Quaso. Tea. Jam. Meat. Fruit. Fruit. And here we have I is silent. Fruit. Fruit. Cereal. Cereal, olives, olives, tomatoes, tomatoes, vegetables, vegetables. And here again, be careful. Uh, this one. Okay, we say j, j. Don't say vegetable. No, vid, vid. Vegetables, vegetables, and here be careful. Z vegetables, vegetables. Okay, guys. <clears throat> now, here be careful. We have some tips here biscuits, we say in UK, and cookies, US, America, jam, UK, and jelly, US. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the lesson. Okay, guys, so now in exercise number two, which of the things in one here do you usually have for breakfast? Is this typical for your country? Compare answer in groups. Okay, so what do you have? in uh, for your breakfast in your country in general <clears throat> um, for me you know i'm originally from syria but i was born and raised in libya all my life so i know libya more than syria but i i understand what they eat so in libya uh, some people, um, of course, they uh, drink uh, tea with with milk. Tea with milk, of course. Tea with milk uh, originally <clears throat> come because I'm from Baghazi, so they took it from Egypt. In Egypt, people drink tea and uh, with milk, and Egypt took it from English people. Because in Britain, they drink it like this. The tea is not the same our tea. Uh, it's like tea with milk, but they say just tea. And uh, yes, yogurt, of course, bread, eggs, coffee, uh, cheese, yeah, jam. Um, some restaurants in the morning they make uh, meat sandwiches, meat sandwiches with eggs, 
very very nice I miss it and um, yeah of course tomatoes vegetables yeah so this is what usually people like <clears throat> have for breakfast in the morning um, in Benghazi I'm not sure about Tripoli uh, what they eat in the morning but I know because I have some friends they go to Tripoli they usually have uh, like cappuccino or coffee in the morning with maybe croissant uh, light things yeah okay so um, what about you what about your country okay choose like four or <coughs> five things uh, what's the usual breakfast in your country uh, in your city write in the comments please uh, let's see for example how people have different breakfast from uh, place to place from city to city I know that for example in um, in Syria uh, different cities have uh, different type of breakfast in Egypt, in Libya, in Iraq, the same thing. So please write in the on the comments your uh, usual breakfast in your city. Write your city, okay, and write the usual breakfast, please. Okay, let's check later. Okay, guys. So now <clears throat> we'll move here. Look at this photo. This photo here, <clears throat> how many people do we have or how many students because they are all students like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 students and this is an international school. International school, people uh, go and live in the, uh, in the school, not all international schools of course, but in this school People like uh, students <clears throat> live there and uh, the students are from Japan, from Turkey and from France. And of course, people from Japan, they don't eat the same breakfast like people from Turkey or France. So in the kitchen, they make uh, food for different countries. <clears throat> so now what we will do, we will listen, you will make a list, okay? like Turkish, French, Japanese breakfast. You will listen and you will write uh, what they talk about Turkish breakfast, what they eat, you write. Japanese breakfast, you write. And French breakfast, you write. Okay, clear guys? Let's go. <clears throat> Track 80. Morning, Dylan. Good weekend? Yes, thank you. And you? Yes, thanks. So, what new nationalities have we got in school this week? New nationalities? Uh, we've got Japanese, uh, French and Turkish. OK. Let's write the new breakfast menus. Yes, Chef. So, what do the Japanese have? Well... They usually have rice and fish and soup, and they drink green tea. Rice, fish, soup and green tea. OK. And the French? They have a croissant or toast and jam. Oh, and they usually have coffee with milk. Croissant, toast, jam, coffee. Well, that's easy. And what about the Turkish students? What do they have for breakfast? Well, they usually have big breakfasts. They have bread, cheese, eggs, olives and tomatoes. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, and to drink? They usually drink tea. OK, so that's bread, cheese, eggs, olives, tomatoes and tea. That's right. OK, Dylan, it's time to start cooking. Actually, it's time for my coffee break.
Okay, guys. Um, if you found it, uh, if you find it difficult, please repeat, ag <coughs> repeat again, <coughs> listen again, and try it. Okay. Now let's check the answers. Here you, we have the answers. Ah, so Japanese. In the breakfast, they eat rice, fish, soup, and green tea. Hmm, strange. French, croissant, toast, jam, coffee with milk. Turkish, bread, cheese, eggs, olives, tomatoes, tea. Yeah, big breakfast. Uh, Turkish people, uh, Turkish people, food is like the same uh, Arabic. They have like big breakfast. They eat lots of things on the um, on the breakfast, but this is just uh, Saturday and Sunday because every day they work. They wake up very early and go to uh, to work and come uh, sometimes in the evening, so they don't have breakfast together at home. But Saturday and Sunday they have very good uh, breakfast, and uh, <clears throat> most of them. They have sausages in the morning. Yeah, they cut it like small, small and with oil. Very nice. I tried it, but uh, I didn't like it very much. But uh, it looks nice on the uh, on the breakfast. <clears throat> okay, guys. So now we'll move to this exercise about countable and uncountable mm. so <clears throat> look here guys here we have mm, one biscuit <clears throat> a biscuit and here four biscuits one apple an apple and here we have six apples six apples so here biscuit we can say one biscuit, we can say two biscuits, three biscuits, four biscuits, no problem. One apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, six apples, no problem. So we say countable nouns, we can make numbers, we can say one, two, three, four, we say countable nouns. Here, <clears throat> uncountable nouns milk rice can we say one milk two milks three milks no can we say one rice two rises three rises no so this is uncountable okay uncountable here look we say we can or can't count biscuits and apples can we count biscuits and apples yes we can so we choose we can yes and we can we can't count milk and rice can we say one milk two milks no so we can't <clears throat> okay so now what we will do here we will match all of these words here to the table okay for example biscuits it's countable so i write the singular and plural milk uncountable i write it here an apple ah it's uncountable i write it singular and plural rice uncountable yogurt where i write yogurt yeah i write yogurt here uncountable okay and sugar where i write sugar here or here so <clears throat> match them maybe you say teacher i don't know no problem try right after that we check okay guys let's do it you can stop the video after you finish check with me okay Here is the answer. <coughs> mm. <coughs> K 
countable nouns an egg eggs a sausage sausages a banana bananas a croissant croissants an olive olives tomato tomatoes vegetable vegetables these are the countable uncountable yogurt sugar toast bread ah you say teacher <clears throat> toast bread we count we say one toast two toasts three toasts no in english you say one piece of toast two pieces of toast bread no we don't count bread we say one loaf of a bread two loaves of a bread okay one bag of a bread <clears throat> but bread we don't say one two three breads no fish the same one piece of fish we don't say two fishes three fishes no so this is english guys <clears throat> I know in your language maybe you count, but in English they don't count. That's it. Coffee, soup, cheese, orange juice, tea, jam, meat, fruit, cereal. Ah, so vegetables, countable, and fruit, uncountable? Why, teacher? I don't know. This is English. They make it like this. I don't know. Okay, guys, so these are the, this is the answer. <coughs> ah. Okay, <coughs> let's read this exercise number five. Help with vocabulary, countable and uncountable nouns. So here, let's read, okay, and uh, write, choose the correct answer together. Mm, just a minute. Make it a bit big. Okay, like this, better. <clears throat> okay, so countable nouns. Countable nouns, we have one apple, two apples, three apples, one biscuit, two biscuits, okay? Remember, countable nouns have, don't have a plural form. So, countable nouns, for example, one biscuit, two biscuits, okay? Yes, okay. So, nouns have. Plural form. We use or we don't use a or an with singular countable nouns. Mm. Biscuit. Can we say a biscuit? <clears throat> yes. We say a biscuit here or apple, an apple. Okay, so we say an apple. We can say and we can say apples. So it's uh, singular and plural. So we use a or an. We use or don't use a or an with plural, plural countable nouns. We don't use. Okay, guys, we don't use. Here, look. We say apples, we don't use, we don't say <clears throat> an apples, no. Okay, uncountable nouns like rice, yogurt, uncountable nouns are usually plural, aren't. Can we say milk, milks? No, so they aren't. We use or don't use a ah or an with countable nouns. Okay, so can I say, we say here milk. A milk, milks. Ah, so can we say milks? No, a milk? No, just milk, just like this. <clears throat> so we don't use. Okay, we don't use. Mm, okay. Now let's practice. Here, exercise number six, choose the correct answer. Ah, an or no articles. Ah and an, we, we call them articles. <clears throat> so here, no articles, okay? So, for example, Sue 
never has a milk or milk in her tea? Of course, no a. I have <clears throat> an egg or I have egg for breakfast every day. Egg here is singular and singular takes an. Okay, so guys, stop the video. Do three, four, five, six, seven. After that, check with me. Three, do you want, uh huh, very good, a biscuit? Four, I love cheese sandwiches. Cheese sandwiches. So it's a plural, no article. Ted usually has soup for lunch. A soup or soup? Ah, soup, uncountable. Very good, we don't use a. Ah. Six, would you like, uh huh, very good, a banana, singular. Seven, do you eat, good, uncountable, so no article. Okay, guys. Next exercise, here you will write <clears throat> ah, an or no article. So here, fill in the gaps with ah, an or no article. I often have a ah, rice with my main meal. Main meal, the important meal for me. For example, every day I have three meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Which one is very important for you? Some people breakfast, some people uh, have everything in the breakfast, after that lunch, dinner, no problem, anything. Some people know, they drink coffee in the morning, maybe some biscuits, after that in the lunch, they eat everything. Some people because they work all day and come to uh, home, in the evening they eat lunch, big lunch, okay? Um, so this is the main, uh, main meal. So here I often have, have what? Ah, here no article because uh, it's very small. No article, yeah, because it's uncountable. Two, my friends and I sometimes go out for, <coughs> for what? Mm. Okay, so here, burger, but people uh, should say burger sandwich. Burger sandwich, okay? But uh, people don't say, <coughs> for example, when you go to um, a restaurant, you tell them, give me one burger. But one burger what? One burger sandwich. Or uh, when you go to a cafe, you say, give me one tea. One tea is wrong, or one coffee, coffee is wrong. But because this is in speaking, people don't say one cup of tea or one cup of coffee. No, it's one coffee, one tea. So here it's a burger sandwich, so we must write what? Ah, yeah. Okay, guys, so again, stop the video, write from three to eight. After that, check with me. Okay, let's check. I always have toast and jam for breakfast. Toast and jam. Toast and jam, uncountable. So, no article. Very good. Four, I never have sugar in coffee sugar uncountable very good so no article i like olives in my salad i like olives in my salad olives ah plural plural no ah uh, no an so mm. six i have apple every day apple Yes, singular. Ah or an starts with a, ah, so an apple. An apple. 
Seven, I often have sandwich for lunch. Sandwich, just one. So, ah. Eight, I never eat mm -hmm. meat. Very good. Meat is uncountable. So, I never eat meat. Okay, guys. So, now, look at these sentences again. Try to make the sentences about yourself. <clears throat> read the sentence and change it for example i often have uh, rice with my main meal for me i often have meat with my main meal it's very important protein i go to the gym i do sport so i need protein two my friends and i sometimes go out for you can say a burger a coffee um, whatever no problem or you can change here for example I sometimes I always okay so change the sentences about yourself so you can practice the language okay guys it's very important change sentences try to practice the language okay okay so now here <clears throat> Hmm. In exercise number eight, um, if you, for example, work with anyone else, you can talk together, just review, I like, I hate, I don't like, I quite like, I really like eggs, maybe someone knows, it. oh, I hate them. Hmm. So here, guys, why we said them, eggs. Eggs, plural, so we use them, okay? Uh, I hate cheese, me too, the same. I love coffee, mm -hmm. coffee. Oh, I hate it, it, because it's uncountable. Uncountable, always it, okay? <clears throat> Maybe you work with your... A friend or study together um, you can say I like this I hate this your friend will uh, say the other part oh I hate them me too okay guys the last exercise is a very very nice exercise here imagine imagine like close your eyes dream about your perfect breakfast. Where do you want to eat it? So the first question here, where are you? Where are you? Okay, then what time is it? Who are you with? People, for example, your wife, your family, uh, your uh, children, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, okay? What do you have for breakfast? What do you eat here? What do you do after breakfast? Uh, so, for example, <clears throat> where are you? For me, I am in... Um, <coughs> let's see, Rio de Janeiro. Yes. On the beach. Yeah. And time... It's like nine in the morning, nine in the morning. I like waking up early. Who are you with? I am with my wife. And in the breakfast, um, of course, I would have eggs, cheese, salad, um, olives. I love olives. And... Mm, Maybe uh, jam, some jam, uh, bread, no, I don't eat bread. Uh, maybe tea, milk, after that, maybe we have fruit, yeah. What do you have for breakfast, yes, and what do you do after breakfast? After breakfast, maybe 30 minutes, one hour, I go and swim, yeah. Okay, guys, so again, here, uh, imagine, 
your uh, perfect your perfect uh, breakfast okay and tell us about it you can write it on the comment so we can see where uh, do people want to um, to go and have breakfast okay which place you like I always see uh, Rio de Janeiro on, on movies so I like this place I wish uh, I could go there yeah so for you don't be shy right no problem any place okay guys so let's check how people think about places okay so and that's it guys this is the um, the end of the lesson okay I hope it was clear and uh, as we said here we talked about vocabulary uh, food and the drink after that we listened to uh, chef and the assistant talking about uh, breakfast Japanese Turkish and French breakfast after that we talked about countable uncountable uh, nouns and we said uh, some words in our language countable in English uncountable no problem then we practiced uh, and no articles and our perfect breakfast okay thank you guys i hope you enjoyed the video okay if you have any question again please write it on the comment okay and i will answer as soon as possible okay guys uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share the video if you think other people will be interested in watching uh, these videos, okay? And learn English. Okay, guys, thank you. Goodbye.